I want you to meet a little girl. Her name is Lauren Johnson. Look at her. Sweet, cute, little 12-year-old girl. But she's different and special in her own way. It won't take you long to figure out why she's different. Take a listen to this. It was <coughs> different, and I just <coughs> kind of got along got, got, went with it, mm -hmm. <coughs> thinking that it wouldn't last this long. <coughs> but it's been two weeks now, and mm -hmm. <coughs> it just hasn't stopped. All right, so what's going on there? She cannot stop sneezing. Sneezes 16 times a minute, 32,000 times a day. Is it a cold? Is it allergies? Is it psychological? We're paging our Dr. Gupta for some answers. It seems so bizarre, and uh, her doctors can't seem to get to the bottom of it. What jumps out at you here with this situation? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting because I've been following the story like you have, and there's a few things that sort of jump out at me as you watch some of that video again. If we can take a look at that, uh, a couple things worth pointing out. First of all, she doesn't um, sneeze at night, uh, and, that, and that's one of the important things when you're trying to figure out is something more somatic, meaning more within the body or more psychological. That's always an important clue. Is this ongoing even at night? Does it wake, wake her up from her sleep, or does it prevent her from sleeping? It, it, it doesn't is what we're hearing. Also, it, it doesn't appear to be a very productive sneeze as well. If someone has a true irritation of the bronchioles, you know, the lung lining or the sinuses or something, usually have more of a productive sneeze uh, using your nose. This really seems to be coming more from her mouth. So those are a couple of things that sort of jump out at me. And that sort of, you know, starts to play something within the realm of more psychogenic, coming more from the psyche than it does from the body. And there, there are some, you know, rare instances of things that are almost like tick. Our people hear of Tourette's a lot, but a tick-like symptom uh, that is a psychogenic, intractable sneezing, it's caused. Pretty rare thing. But that, to me, it at least seems more likely to be something like that. I'm hearing that right? It could just be in her head in some ways? Yeah, it, well, it's, it's, it's psychogenic. And, you know, when you say in, in her head, it, she probably has no conscious sort of recognition of this. It's all sort of subconscious. So she's truly sneezing, truly feeling like she needs to sneeze. But there's no sort of what we call somatic or body reason for that to be happening. So if that's wow. the case, Sandra, and the fact do you that she doesn't do it while she's sleeping. Right. So she can fall asleep and stay asleep at night. That's what her parents have been saying. So could they try hypnosis or could they try something where they could see if, uh, I mean, some alternative type therapy may be able to work just to get to the bottom of it? Right. And, you know, and from what I hear, she's been to lots of different doctors and specialists. And, you know, this may be something that's ongoing for a period of time. But in terms of her types of treatment, I think you're right. You know, behavioral therapy or even therapies that may treat an underlying psychogenic sort of disorder. Sometimes um, antidepressants or anti-anxiety medications. You know, we've reported on your show before about people with intractable hiccuping for example, which ended up being almost a Tourette's-like thing that gets treated with those types of medications. So I probably, you know, probably wouldn't jump to medications first, but there might be behavioral type therapies that might provide a, a little bit of help for her. And Doc, last thing real quick, a lot of us, we've all had colds and, and whatnot. If you cough a lot, sneeze a lot, I mean, physically, it just takes a toll on you. Can she be putting herself or hurting herself right. physically in some way by doing this constantly? You know, I, I was watching that video pretty carefully. I, I, I don't think so. You know, I mean, obviously, you, you'd, be, you'd be concerned. Is it interfering so much with her ability to breathe, uh, to speak? She, she sneezes a lot, so it's affecting her activities of daily living. She's having a hard time going to school, uh, uh, participating in that way. But physically, I think at some point, uh, if she continued doing it, she might start to develop some pain. Uh, in, her, in her lungs, for example. Some people even get pins and needles type sensation in their hands from sneezing so much. But right now, it looks like she's doing uh, fine. She's able to oxygenate well, which uh, uh, would be a concern as well, potentially in the, in the long run. Mm -hmm. Well, keep us posted on this because, I mean, she's just so yeah. cute and everybody sort of feels for her. We're all wondering, what the heck would we do if that was happening to us? So uh, let us know how it works out for her. We'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, absolutely, guys. All right. Thanks, Doc. We'll see you.